What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So for today we're gonna to walk you through a full workout and talk about our top five fitness mistakes that we see a lot of people making. So this is part two. Part one will be the second link in the description. Let's jump right into it, into the workout. Mistake number one, in my opinion, is relying on motivation. Motivation comes and goes. You might be fired up for the first week. You know, and this is why you're inconsistent. Some weeks you get motivated, you taper down. Instead, rely on consistency. Build habits, get yourself in a position where you're putting in the same amount of work day in and day out. So a couple ways to do this are have a coach, have someone making a routine, have a good dedicated routine that's periodized, has progressive overload that you're building through. Another good option, find a way to get yourself motivated before you get in the gym. Maybe when you come in, do some awareness. Feel the ground, say, hey, I'm in the gym, I'm gonna have a great workout, I'm here to crush it, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You know, get some caffeine in you, listen to some music. Don't rely on motivation. Now you're gonna have to go through some hard days, be consistent, and it'll become a habit. And number two common mistake I think a lot of people have is they have a pause button for their fitness journey and it's constantly being pressed. You know, every couple weeks when things get hectic, when their kids are acting up or they're going on vacations or just, you know, uh, work is piling up and stuff, they're always pressing that pause button. So the way I look at my fitness journey is, there's, is that there's an on and an off switch and at all times for the past 10 years, it's always been on. It hasn't been on to the point where I've always worked out, you know, five to 10 hours a week, but it's always been on to the point where you're still trying to do the best you can at any given time. And I think it's very important to understand that there's gonna be times where you can do 10 hours of workouts a week, and then sometimes you're gonna to have to just go for long walks, but still keeping that button unpaused is absolutely huge. And I feel like um, a lot of people that I talk to, you know, they inquire for coaching, you know, friends and stuff, you ask them, hey, how's everything been going? They're like, I haven't worked out in like five months, but being able to just do the best thing you can for your current scenario and make this a full on lifestyle for the fact that you can do this for the next 50 years is the best approach and you're gonna see the best results that way. And just adding on to that, when it comes to the on and the off switch, you know, some people have a great week. I hear this a lot. The on switch was on, you know, they're on fire. The weekend comes and then it gets turned off and then it stays off for a week, you know? How do you think you're actually gonna succeed in the long run if it keeps going up, down, up, down, and you're just kind of spinning your wheels and you're just not actually staying consistent? Trying to keep that switch on at all times. Like, you know, I've been on a vacation where like I still was able to do everything I could and I came back and I was like, okay, cool. I'm ready to get back, back into it. You know, did a lot of cardio there, did some swimming, and did a lot of fun things. So being able to try to figure out how can I fit this into my lifestyle, the best way is the biggest thing to think about for, long, for you guys to succeed. Next up is looking for a short-term solution for a long-term problem. If you wanna stay sexy, shredded, whatever it is, you know, nice and lean, big, whatever it may be, for the rest of your life, you can't rely on a short-term diet or dieting fad to be your solution. It's gonna work in the interim, you know, you're gonna look good, you're gonna do something that deviates from that plan, you're gonna end up gaining it all back. So instead, learn a uh, process of sustainability. You know, that's what we're all about with our online coaching service. We really teach people how to maximize their nutrition, their training, and their lifestyle to form like a triangle, where, or a circular triangle, whatever the heck, uh, where they can really maximize their results for the most amount of time and replicate these results for the rest of their lives. When people sign up for coaching for us, they stay fit and they continue to succeed after. You know, other people, they'll be like, oh, I used to look good when I did this diet or when I did this. But the real life is, you can't be on this one weird diet your whole life. You gotta learn how to make it work. So if you wanna learn more about that, reach out for online coaching in the description down below, flossminutes.com slash online coaching. We'll see you over there. So the other day I went to the zoo. I was gonna pick up this chinchilla. The chinchilla got in this big fight with a hedgehog. What the I was filming something. Dude, I'm doing my workout, okay? I'm doing my workout. Oh. I mean, this is all fun and all, but I'd say one of the biggest mistakes I see from people over the years is just wandering around the gym with absolutely no game plan. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people just jumping from thing to thing to thing and not following a strict routine. So this is a huge common mistake because your routine really does need to be periodized. You need to have direction. It needs to be related to your goals. And I would say overall, this is where a lot of people struggle is just kind of picking the random exercises they feel like doing, picking random things that bodybuilding.com says you should be doing. So I would recommend for overall success, longevity, and sustainability, having a structured, solid routine is best for your results. And it's a huge mistake a lot of people are making. 
Number five, this is huge. You know, as a fitness coach, we hear it a lot. I'd say comparing yourself to others on their fitness journey is the biggest mistake and I find so many people do it you know there's that famous quote comparison is the thief of joy you know we hear a lot of times like oh you know I've been working out for two years and I don't look like this person or that person and a lot of times people deviate from the plan because they get demotivated they become depressed you know when you're in a gym atmosphere and you're seeing all these other people with nice leggings on and like tank tops and stuff they just start comparing themselves to others but the thing you need to realize is that it's your journey and your situation. And at the same time, um, what I was saying earlier as tip number two, like there's always gonna be different scenarios where you may have to take a step back, you may have different goals, you may have different genetics. Just understanding and trusting the process within your own self is so huge to keep you on track and keep you seeing long-term success, which is what it's for, you know? It's, it's not anyone else's journey, it's yours, and focus on it yourself and you will see long-term success. And that's it from us. Make sure to click that first link in the description if you want to take things to the next level. If you're making any of these mistakes and you want some assistance, we do have a summer special taking place. We're taking two to three more people at a discounted rate to help you achieve your goals through nutrition, lifestyle, and a customized workout routine. If you feel like you're a good fit, click that link, apply. You know, we do turn down a lot of people, but if we feel like we can help you out, we'll take care of you and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.